Hello, welcome back to Mecca Five Stars Reality TV Show Reveal. So on my big fat fabulous life, Babs was accepted into rehab, which is great for her. As you know, last week they showed and revealed that Babs had another stroke. She also had one last year. And so, well, the year before that. And so now she's in the fight to recover. Um, she wasn't accept at first into rehab. They said she wasn't a good candidate, but as of now, as on the show, she has been accepted. So good for her. On the show, she has been making great progress. The family is very happy. Whitney is very happy about the progress that her mom is making. Uh, they also, Whitney and her brother also sat down and talked about um, the times that Babs uh, did have a stroke. And sadly, her brother, he talked about how he felt finding his mom all the times that she had uh, altercations or, I mean, that she had uh, complications. And uh, when she had fa had strokes, uh, he said that it mentally drained him because finding his mom like that, of course, it's something mentally draining, but he feels though he have to keep everything inside and that he can't really express his uh, feelings because of the different situation. With Whitney's weight problems and her health problems, he feels like he has to be the strong one in the family because he has to you know, he has to step up and uh take the place of a lot of things that he needs to do. He feels like he should be the strong one of the family. And so that leaves him without feeling like he can express his emotions, which could be a lot for someone to have to, to feel like they can't let it out. And it's really unhealthy. So let's pray for him that he's able to release those feelings and uh because it's a good thing that it, that he does. Also, uh, they talked about um, Heather. She revealed that unfortunately she won't be able to be a surrogate, get a surrogate for Whitney's uh, pregnant to be pregnant for Whitney's baby, her eggs. She won't be able to be a surrogate. Um, she said that her doctor told her that uh, because she had complications in one of her pregnancies, that her body wouldn't be a great fit to be a surrogate. Um, so she revealed that to Whitney. And also when asked, does that mean that she herself can't have any more children? She said that they did not talk about that. So um, it looks like she won't be carrying uh, Whitney's baby for her. And so Whitney says she's undecided if she's going to continue to uh, move forward and finding a surrogate for her eggs. Um, and she also revealed that she's talked to her boyfriend. And um, apparently she feels like she had to talk to him about her eggs being freezed and if she's going to be um, having babies. So she felt like she needed to talk to the French man uh, in reference to this. Um, she's really taking this serious about him being the man for her. And um, she's taking it serious about their relationship. She is calling him her boyfriend. As you know, he hasn't, they haven't shown that he's, come to America yet to see her, but she has went to see him. And um, I believe that the COVID uh, ban on traveling or flying has now been lifted. So I'm not sure as to why he hasn't went to see her. They, they haven't revealed that uh, on the show. So, um, but she is really strong about um, him being her boyfriend. However, um, Lenny, now Lenny is working for her and um, it looks like he's 
might be developing some type of feelings for her. Of course, one would wonder, is it because he's, you know, asking her to be employed, uh, to be her person for uh, videos of her fitness channel, her fitness um, program. And um, he's also been doing little other things for her to make money. So uh, questions is rising in a lot of people mind. Is he around her for her mother, her money? Or is he really trying to be uh, with her as a partner, a loving partner? So um, I don't know, but um, it looks like it could be something going on there but Whitney says that she's keeping it pre uh, professional that's what she says on the show she's not interested in him that's this is what she's saying on the show for now in these episodes but as you can see here here's a picture of them together on her Instagram channel and um, I didn't see anything with the French man up there if I'm not mistaken it might be I didn't really look but this is the recent picture of her and Lenny. So um, I don't know, guys, what you think about that. But there it is. Wishing, uh, I'm wishing Whitney love because she does deserve it. I mean, she has been a great friend and vessel for her friends and family. Uh, she's very loving and caring and nurturing. So I'm wishing the best for her. Um now in her life now two of her friends are getting married one of her friends are in a relationship about to have a baby so i know that can be a little bit emotional for her um to me in the show when they were telling her like buddy was telling her that she's that that he's uh proposed to his fiance and he's going to get married as well as jessica asking her to be in her wedding she um looked excited for them but you to me it looks like still she was a little bit mm, emotional about it like as to say why me it looked that way to me i don't know what you guys think but that could be a lot for a person who wants that for themselves and their friends are are going through that at the moment so anyway she's um look like she's going to be a part of Jessica's wedding and I'm sure she'll be attending Buddy's wedding. So let's stay tuned for that. Um, the sad news also in uh, this week's episode, uh, Jessica revealed that unfortunately her father, Will Powell, uh, tumors has came back. Now, she didn't say if they were cancerous tumors or so, but I did see one website saying that his cancer came back, but... Uh, she didn't say anything about cancer. She just said his tumors has returned. Um, I will be following up on his story. Um, as you know, her father was Whitney's first trainer, and he trained her into losing weight. Um, he was very, a big advocate in her losing weight and helping her through the process. And then her do his daughter stepped in and became a trainer for Whitney as well as a partner on her uh, on her I can't I, I don't know and no BS active something like that I don't know but on her uh, training program in her training program their, their partners in this training program so uh, yes yeah, so she revealed uh, Jessica revealed that her father tum her father's tumor came back she became emotional on the show and um, just sending out our prayers to her and to to him, Will Powell, and uh, sending out prayers to Babs as well. Um, Whitney did share this picture of Babs. Again, um, I might have showed it in the early clip. Um, this was uh, her her birthday, uh, past birthday, and. Um, it looks like it looks like in the picture that she could be in still in rehab. I'm not sure, but um, she looks good here, and she looks, you know, like she's getting back to herself. I personally love Babs. Um, she, through watching her on the show, she gives off great positive vibes. 
a great loving mother and friend and you know just mother to the family and friends and um of course i'm wishing her a speedy recovery and so yes guys that was what was on this episode of my big fat fabulous life um i will be doing more reality tv show reviews on it i will try to do it weekly i'm I aim for it to do it weekly but yes guys that's the news on what's going on in the show so please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more reality TV show reviews.